the iPhone 8, but it is what it is. Like I said before, there's really not too much we can do about it at that standpoint. So now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these devices. The iPhone 8 has that Apple 11 Bionic chip inside of it with 2 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone SE 2 has that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the fast one between both of these. Okay, there we go. All the apps should be cleared out in the background, as you guys can tell, except obviously for the iPhone 8. And I'm actually leaning these two phones on another iPhone SE, which is the iPhone SE 3. So let's go and get started. iPhone SE 2 is here. iPhone 8 is here. Phone calls 321. Both are on iOS 16, like I mentioned before. Pretty much the same thing here. Music, which I don't have here. App Store 321. And the iPhone 8 actually looked a little bit faster there, which is kind of surprising. Getting into this one, okay. Took a little bit longer to load on the iPhone 8, but it did load up faster on the iPhone 8, which is weird. Mail, 3, 2, 1. iPhone 8 SE 2 is faster. iPhone 8 a little bit slower. Hopping out of here. Clock, 3, 2, 1. I think it was faster on the iPhone 8. That one was very, very surprising. Apple TV, 3, 2, 1. iPhone SE 2 was faster, but it was looking like the iPhone 8 was going to be the faster one there. Camera, 3, 2, 1. iPhone SE 2, faster, get there too. Cal, let's do photos, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone SE 2 is actually the faster one. So there's been a few flip-flops here and there, but the iPhone SE 2, I think, has been consistently the faster one here, which is always good to see. Podcast, 3, 2, 1. iPhone SE 2, again, is a faster one. Now let's go and get into some of these third-party apps. We can try Genshin Impact, 3, 2, 1. That was a pretty big game for the most part, so it will be kind of surprising to see which one is the faster one here. And it's looking like the SE2 was the faster one to get into the title screen. The iPhone 8, a little bit behind. Again, not that big of a deal, but something to keep in mind. Hopping out of here, let's go and get into some of these third-party apps, which I think I have. There we go. Fruit Ninja, which we'll just skip. Facebook, 3, 2, 1. Fruit Ninja just always gives me issues. There's no point in doing it. iPhone SE2 is faster. Hopping out of here, Twitter, 3, 2, 1. SE2 again is a faster one here, iPhone 8, a little bit behind, so that's good to see we're seeing a faster phone. Netflix, 3, 2, 1. The iPhone 8 definitely kind of glitched up there when I when I clicked on it. Not really too sure what was going on there. Quizlet, 3, 2, 1. Okay, iPhone SE2 again is a faster one. iPhone 8 a little bit behind. Stack, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone SE 2, again, is the faster one, followed by the iPhone 8, a little bit behind. Hopping out of here, we can try Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone SE 2 is faster. iPhone 8, definitely a little bit behind there as well. Let's go and get into Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 8 actually loaded that one up a little bit faster, which is kind of surprising there. And the iPhone SE 2 is faster, followed by the iPhone 8. So this is actually Temple Run 1, I kind of forgot about that. So ultimately... I definitely do think that the iPhone SE 2 is the faster one consistently. I think the iPhone 8 did a decent job, but there were definitely some moments which you guys saw that the iPhone 8 was kind of a little bit sluggish at. I don't think it was a deal breaker or anything annoying, but I definitely do think when it comes down to the performance side, the iPhone SE 2 is definitely the faster one. Now, in terms of...